If you're planning to study abroad, then you will definitely have to write a statement of purpose. Now with so many AI tools in the market, you must be wondering which AI tools are good to write a quality SOP. Till what extent of AI usage is actually allowed? Are universities using AI checkers to determine if an SOP is AI generated or not? Which AI checkers are good to check for AI generated content? Well, if you are struggling with these questions too, then this video is for you. Hi everyone, I am Neha Agrawal, I am the founder of WiseUp and on this channel I make videos on studying abroad, job readiness, research mastery and communication skills, essentially all those areas where you need to become wiser to succeed in your career. So if any of these topics are relevant to you, you can subscribe to this channel. And now. Let's talk about the best AI tools for SOP writing. When it comes to SOP writing, you can use as basic a tool as ChatGPT. However, there are certain AI tools in the market which have been designed specifically for SOP writing, such as Loom, Tootler, Esopy, CareerSky and GradGPT. Now, there are usually two ways as to how students use these platforms. First way is where they input key things that they have done. For example, research projects, work experiences, university and program they are interested to apply to and then the AI tool generates the entire SOP for them. And the second way is a more common way where the students are writing the SOP themselves but then what they do is that they take paragraph by paragraph of the SOP that they have written, feed it to the AI tool and ask it to reword or rephrase it for them so that it becomes more professional. Now most students usually think that the second way should be absolutely alright since the entire writing has been done by them and so there is very less chances that it would be flagged as plagiarized content. But what they don't realize is that even though it does not constitute as plagiarism, it is still AI generated content. See, all of us have a voice, right? And all of us have a style of writing. So when you get your SOP rewritten by an AI tool, then even though the language becomes more polished, it also becomes very computerized or very mechanical. Last season, I reviewed close to 500 SOPs and by the end of it, I could tell if a student had written the SOP themselves or there was some intervention of an AI tool in writing the SOP. So imagine if I was able to find that out as a human just by looking at the SOP. So imagine the admissions committee who is much more experienced will easily be able to find it irrespective of the fact whether they use an AI checker or not. So till what extent should you be using these AI tools and which AI tools are safe to use? When writing your SOPs, utilize the AI tools, but only for language and grammar correction. Don't ask these AI tools to rephrase a sentence for you because the minute it rephrases a sentence for you, it becomes AI generated content. Some of the best AI tools in the market that are available for language and grammar check are Grammarly, Quillbot and even tools like Trinka and Paperpal. These are just some of the AI tools that I'm sharing, but feel free to use any AI tool that offers language and grammar correction capabilities. Now, how do you go about using them? All you need to do is upload your SOP on their platform and ask it to do the language and grammar correction for you. Or you can also download its plugin, a browser extension or an extension for the Word document file so that they can do the language and grammar correction for you while you're writing your SOP. This will ensure that your SOP is written in your own voice, doesn't have any AI generated content and is free of grammar and language errors. Again, I'm repeating, please utilize these AI tools for language and grammar check only and do not use any other type of support that is offered. The reason I'm being so strict with the use of AI tools is because universities are using AI checkers to determine if your SOP is AI generated or not. Last year, some of my students received an email from the universities where their SOPs were rejected and they were supposed to submit a reason why it had such a high percentage of AI generated content. This can have a really negative impact on your application and can also lead to rejection from the university. Now hearing this, some students will try to play smart. They will get their SOPs generated by an AI tool and then use another software to humanize the content. 
what you need to realize is that you are applying to the university to learn something from them and not the other way around so the universities are not stupid they will be able to find out what you have done so don't try to outsmart the universities because they are always going to be one step ahead of you in these things now another thing students do is that they submit their sops to these online ai checker tools and then get worried by the percentages they receive let me tell you none of the ai checkers that are available in the market are reliable right now so even if you have written the sop completely on your own chances are they will still show you that it is 50% ai generated content so then what should you do firstly don't get fooled by these online ai checkers because they themselves don't know what they are doing secondly make sure you write the sop yourselves and even for getting your sop reviewed do not use online ai reviewers use human reviewers who can review the sops for you and give you feedback and if you've done all these steps then i can assure you that you do not have to depend on any online ai checker tools you can close your eyes and submit your sop to the universities and you will not receive any rejection from them now if you are wondering how will you write these sops on your own or how will you get your sop reviewed by human reviewers then i am there to help you out to learn how to write your sops you can join me for my study abroad course where i teach you the step by step process of writing a high quality statement of purpose share multiple examples with you from top universities and also teach you how to write other admission documents such as personal statements scholarship essays letter of recommendation and even emails to professors now if you feel that you can write the sop on your own but you just want to get it reviewed then you can can join me for my sop review program or the lor review program as part of these programs i offer you two rounds of review on your sop and lors correct and polish your document without the use of ai tools and make it ready for submission to know more about these programs the link is in the description and in the pinned comment and now thank you so much for watching this video and i wish you have a fantastic study abroad journey ahead